welcome to our collective worship this week, which is coming from here, Holy Trinity Church. And before we think about our question for today, we're going to gather in the way that we always do with our words of gathering and lighting our candle. We have gathered in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to worship together and to think about our value, thankfulness. And today, as we think about thankfulness, we're asking, can thankfulness just be a feeling? Or are there some things that we actually need to say when we feel thankful? Well, Charlie is now going to read us our Bible passage from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. As Jesus made his way to Jerusalem, he went along the border between Samaria and Galilee. He was going into a village when he was met by ten men suffering from a dreaded skin disease. They stood at a distance and shouted, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. Jesus saw them and said to them, Go and let the priests examine you. On the way they were made clean. When one of them saw that he was healed, he came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself to the ground at Jesus' feet and thanked him. The man was a Samaritan. Jesus spoke up. There were ten men who were healed. Where are the other nine? Why is this foreigner the only one who came back to give thanks to God? And Jesus said to him, Get up and go. Your faith has made you well. Well, in that account that Charlie just read for us, we see Jesus walking in the countryside and ten men with a serious skin disease come up to Jesus. They're seeking healing. Jesus heals them uh, by sending them off to see the priest. And as they're traveling down the road to see the priest, they realize they've been healed. Miracle of miracles, wonder of wonder. God has healed them. But only one of them a Samaritan turns round, goes back to Jesus, falls down on the floor, worships Jesus, and gives thanks to God using his words. And Jesus asks this one man, where are the other nine? Now I strongly suspect that all nine of them felt thankful in their hearts when they'd been healed, but it was only this one man who came and said some things that needed to be said to God. And sometimes, in our life and in our world, we may feel things, but it's also important to say them. It's like love. If you love someone, that's great, that's wonderful. But it is so much more wonderful when you're able to look them in the eye and say, I love you. It's a blessing for them and it's a rich blessing for you when you actually express the love that you have. And it's the same with thanksgiving and being thankful. So what I'd like to invite you to do is pause the video now and turn to the person next to you and say thank you to them for being your friend in the most sincere, genuine way that you can. Thank you for being my friend, and really mean it. So pause the video now and go and do that for a moment. Well, I hope that you feel thanked by the person <coughs> sat around you. You feel encouraged. And thanksgiving and thankfulness is such an important part of the life of the church that actually in our church services, uh, we have a special time of saying thank you to God. And it's called the Gloria. The Gloria is one of my favorite parts of our Sunday church services. And the reason it's one of the favorites for me is because it's a time when I get to say or sing out to God a real thankfulness for all of the good things that he has done in our lives, and he has done so many. 
Well, I'm not going to sing it for you today, but I am going to say the first few words of the Gloria so you can get a sense of just how beautiful it is to give thanks to God. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, and we praise you for your glory. And as we, of course, give thanks to people around us for their goodness, we're also mindful every day of our need to thank God for his goodness in our lives. Saying thank you is at the very heart of being a follower of Jesus Christ. And so let us bring our thoughts and our feelings, our hopes and our dreams before God in prayer. Let us pray. O Lord God of heaven, we thank you for all the many things that you bring into our lives. For our mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, grandparents, for our friends, for our teachers, and for those who lead our community. Help us to not just feel thankfulness, but help us to say the words, thank you. And we pray, O oh God, when we do use those words, that we would bless and encourage and enrich those around us. And we join together now in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Well, as we now draw our time of worship to a close, I'm going to bless you and then we'll blow out our candle, signifying that our time of worship has come to an end. Well, may the Lord bless you in your waking. May the Lord bless you in your work. May the Lord bless you in your eating. May the Lord bless you in your resting. And may the Lord bless you in your sleeping. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.